girl, put up, put up. Hand to me in the head. If your black drop, then pick it up. Bang your back for me. If your oil drop, then pick it up. Bang your back for me. If you're right. Welcome back to my channel, guys. So we're gonna be doing a DIY costume, kind of a costume video. It's gonna be under forty dollars. I'm gonna leave all the material in the description box below. And uh, yeah. So this is a raw frame. It cost me about seventeen dollars, like seven seventeen fifty, without the shipping. So then I'm going to take a piece of felt and I'm going to cut, uh, I guess, hold on to me, on the longer side. And it's going to look like this. I did about 15 of them. And then I'm going to take a piece uh, and I'm going to just, you know, wrap it around the metal to cover it up. And also it helps make it uh, make the bra more comfortable. And I'm going to wrap it twice before adding glue. As you can see, I'm just going to keep wrapping until I cover the entire metal parts. And again, like I said, this makes the bra more comfortable and it doesn't, the metal doesn't press in the skin. You know, it just adds some cushion on it. This is what the bra, you know, all wrapped up with felt ended up looking like. It's already looking cute. I'm gonna take another piece of felt and I'm gonna you know measure how big the bra thing the bra cup is and I'm just gonna cut out you know enough that would cover it cover it up so and then I ended up going back to check if it was you know the right thing uh, you know I'm very extra so I went in and cut an underboob part you don't have to do that but that was my preference and I measured it to make sure that it was good So I went and did another one, to du I duplicated another one for the other group. Um, yeah, so I'm taking that pink ribbon and I'm just going to wrap it around just like I did with the felt material. And I'm going to do that all, like, you know, I'm going to do that until I cover all the felt uh, pieces. Well, pieces. I'm going to do that until I cover the felt. And this is what I do when I reach the end. I kind of like put a little bit of a little bit more glue, and then I cut it. I use my scissors to press it down because at this point my fingers were done. And then I'm gonna take some fabric, you know, and I'm just gonna trace that. Um, and here I'm taking some fabric in the shape of the bra, the shape I decided, and I'm just doing that to it, but. Be careful guys because like I said I ended up burning myself to the point where I have white blisters on my fingers so um wear something to protect your fingers um, okay so I'm putting glue onto the uh, bra frame and I'm just gonna glue that down and I'm gonna go back in to just you know make sure everything is staying down and if not I'm just gonna keep adding more glue and I ended up cutting this piece again I'm just doing this out of my head randomly I ended up cutting a little piece to just cover the metal part because I don't think people want to see that you know and it will be still more comfortable so I'm just doing that in the back it doesn't need to be perfect <laughs> and it ended up looking like this neat right so you can take some ribbon to cover the side if you think it's too out there, but you it's, it's really up to you and how clean you did it. But I was burning myself, so it was just too much. The bra, the, I did one cup for one boob. <laughs> and this is the design I came up with. You could do your own design, but you know, it's up to you. So then I'm taking those rhinestones and I'm going to be placing it I'm going to try to show you guys how I did the other bra. I don't even know what to call it. The other side. 
And I'm going to try to replicate the other one. You know, I'm going to try to make them identical. So I'm going to be using the same rhinestones, the same parts in each move. And, uh, but yeah, I ended up adding little ones too. Again, you could use any color. It doesn't need to be pink. And don't worry about the glue part. Uh, these can come off after it really dries, like I do all the way at the end. But I'm not going to do that because my fingers were just messed up. So with the bead part, I ended up just using about six beads. From, it started from smaller to bigger ones. Like so. And I just ended up putting all of them in one go. I don't know if you guys understand, but yeah. So taking the so taking the bigger bead, the one at the end, to secure it, I'm just gonna wrap the stretch cord around it about five times, four or five times, um, because that was the time it took for it not to unravel. So that was that. And then I'm gonna just you know, do this and I'm gonna cut it. And I'm gonna place it inside the rhinestone. Inside the rhinestones. I'm gonna place it inside the rhinestone to stretch cord. And I'm gonna measure like how much space the rhinestone take on the stretch cord. You see? You see? I don't know how to explain it, but and then I'm gonna just wrap it again tie it around four or five times. Uh, just pay attention to what I'm doing. I'm not sure how to explain this. And I glued it down and it ended up looking like this. And I took a smaller piece, kind of like a, a, I think it's a diamond, I don't know. But I took a smaller piece. I felt like it was easier for me to just put it there because it's smaller and it can take two. So it was perfect. feathers and I'm gonna take out the pink orange and yellow ones and I put that packaging and I put that packaging on the back of the felt just so it could help it stand um, more still and I guess it helps it get strong or something stay strong I don't know I don't know but you understand and I'm just gluing the feathers 
onto the piece. I'm gonna do the pink one first, then the orange, and then and then three or four uh, of the yellow feathers. And of course, I burned myself like a crazy person. Just be careful, guys. So when I'm all done with the feathers, I'm just going to take that ribbon and put it at the end of the feathers to cover it up and you know, make it look more neat. And I'm going to add some rhinestones to it to make it look pretty and cute. And, and actually, I feel like you guys could actually use the ribbon instead of the elastic. So this is the end result. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And again... Make sure you guys clean it up. The glue is easy to peel off, but my finger was really hurting. They were actually throbbing, so I just didn't clean it up. But you get it. Okay? Ciao!